If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. Inactivating items stops them from appearing in lists but keeps their information. You can later reactivate inactive items if you need to use them again. You can inactivate items in most lists in QuickBooks Online. You should only inactivate items that have a zero account balance. If you inactivate an item with a balance, QuickBooks must make an adjusting entry for the balance to ensure accurate balances. In these cases, it is often better to assign the existing transactions for the item to the correct other item. For example, assigning existing transactions in an account to the correct account or assigning bills to the correct vendor record. You can then return to inactivate the item when it finally has a zero balance. To inactivate an item in QuickBooks Online, open the Items Associated page to view the corresponding list of items. Then find the record to inactivate in the list. In the Action column for that item's row, click the Make Inactive link in the drop-down menu. A pop-up window then appears to confirm you want to make the item inactive. Click Yes to continue, or click No to close the window and cancel the inactivation. If you attempt to inactivate an item without a zero balance, QuickBooks Online warns you that it needs to enter one or more adjustment entries before inactivating the item. If you still want to continue, click Yes to confirm and create the adjusting entries. Otherwise, click No to cancel inactivating the item. To reactivate most inactive items except for products and services, click the Settings button above the items list and then check the Include Inactive checkbox in the drop-down menu to show the inactive items in the list. To reactivate an inactive item in the list after it appears, click the Make Active link in the Action column of the inactivated item. This reactivates the item and you can use it again. To reactivate an inactive product or service, click the Settings button and then click the Products and Services link under the Lists heading in the drop-down menu to open the Products and Services list. In the upper left corner of the list, click the Filter drop-down button. Then click the Status drop-down in the drop-down menu and select the Inactive choice. Then click the Apply button in the drop-down menu to show only your inactive products and services in the list below. Then click the Make Active link in the Action column of the row for the item to reactivate. You can then click the Clear Filter link next to the Filter button in the upper left corner of the list to show all your active products and services again. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.